Hey guys, Thunderset here, telling you about a new deck with a old archetype we've had for a while. It's Mass Beast Discardius. So we got new characters, Loomis and uh, Umbra or Umbrella, something like that. And their ace monster is Mass Beast Discardius. So we've had him for a while. I've actually made a lot of decks with him way back in the day, so I had some experience. Uh, we have this new skill that's just amazing. It's called Mass Tribute. This is probably his best skill that we've gotten. Uh, what you do, you send one card back to your deck and you special summon one of your mask boys. It's just one random from outside of your deck, so you're keeping your deck nice and fat. Special summon it, then you can set a monster. Uh, special summon your Discardius. That's all you can really do with the monster. They're really trying to make sure we don't abuse it like Cyber Style. So it makes this deck crazy consistent without spamming a lot of these normal monsters. We really only have two of them and two of these. So if you don't know what this guy does, when he's destroyed or leaves field in any way, he'll uh, search this from your deck, put it on a monster, and then you get that monster. So he's pretty pretty intimidating, pretty hard to get off the field. But uh, let's get into what we're doing. So we're using Mass Tribute. So like I said, we don't need many of our mass or of the normal monsters since we're getting the normal monsters with the effect of our skill. So we can focus on a lot of things that just support. Generally, all we're really going to need to support our skill is another Dark Monster to get our Desgardius, and we need Desgardius in our hand, so that's the two like goals we're seeking. So, an easy way to get Desgardius in our hand is Doom Dog. Whenever Doom Dog leaves the field in any sort of way, you get to search it with your hand. So a good play would be like using your skills, sending any card back, special summoning one of these guys, setting your doom dog special summoning your guardius that lets you search another guardius thanks to doom dog and then you're set up on the field so we're also using sphere karibo and skullmeister because they're dark monsters that will help us summon him with our effect or we can use their hand trap potential then we're using these guys because we're actually only able to use our skill twice per duel so if we want to summon him three times we're going to need a way to do it from within our own deck and uh, Unexpected Die is awesome because it accomplishes that goal. And it can also help you set up OTKs. Like you can start your turn with an Unexpected Die, use your skill, have another attack position monster. Now you can use your normal summon and set a monster, summon your Guardius. You still have one monster in attack mode. That's 4,000 damage. Lots of crazy stuff. And last but not least, probably the most important card in the deck. This is a card I really wanted to run in a Dark Magician deck but it fit really well into this one so I just did it. It's Dark Illusion. It's actually a really strong normal card we got recently. When a spell or trap card or monster effect is activated that targets a dark monster on the field, negate the activation and if you do, destroy it. So this sees tons of play. You want this in your hand constantly. It stops Gale Lizards, stops Shazanks, it stops everything guys. Nothing. It stops Enshees. Every, every monster that's coming at you, you want this card. So this deck's super consistent, it's super powerful. Oh, and sorry, we're using one Obsidian Dragon, who kind of does the same thing, just in monster form. Negate the effects of spell traps that target only one face up dark, destroy it. But yeah, no, this is the real MVP. The deck's fast, it's consistent, you're protected well. It's pretty fun, guys, really strong. I hope you guys like it, thanks. So this deck is pretty out there. I mean, you're summoning this Gardas as long as you have him. And you'll have him consistently with Doomdog. Doomdog just works so well with Mass Beast. He's he's just perfect. Makes it real consistent. So here we're going first. This deck actually has great first turn plays. We have one shield. So see, normally this would be a brick if you don't have the normal monster. But here we're using our skill. Let's watch the animation. We used our skill, sent one monster. Then we had to set our Sphere Kribo in hand as Tribute Fodder to summon our big boy, Gardas. It looks awesome, that's a great animation. So like I said, we used our skill, returned a Gardas to our hand, special summoned him, set the Kribo, that lets us special summon the second Gardas we had. Now we're ready, we have a Dark Illusion and a Gardas. Now, we're fighting a sick Sam. They have no out to this board. They have no out to this board. They need an Econ to get out of this board. Or a dual wield. So here, he's gonna try an Enchi. He normal summons an Enchi. Special summons a Fuma. Special summons a Kizan. Uses the Kizan and the Fuma 
to Synchro Summon into the Sheen. So now he wants to use his Enshi, targets us, returns us back to our hands, OTKs us, but wait, Dark Illusion, destroy the Enshi, does not send us back to our hands. Now we're free to swing over a lonely Sheen. Look, pull another Dark Illusion, are you kidding? This trap card is so strong in this deck, you just protect your boy. He's not scared of anything. You get to just swing and go crazy. Here he's setting up again. Uh, I could have stopped this play right here and now and continued on because this when a trap spell or monster effect is activated that targets a dark monster, he's a dark monster. I could negate his own spell and destroy it and we'd be perfectly on. But so 1700, 1700, he's bringing another Enshi out. Uses Fuma, tries to chain the effect, thinking I won't be able to counter it. Chain the effect, stop the effect again with Dark Illusion. And his second Enshi, they usually run in two Enshis. He's gonna summon a Shien just for fun, just because. And here, we get our Skullmeister. He's useful because he's 1700. Obviously, he swings over that Shien. He can swing over Deciders. Cool stuff, guys. Uh, Six Sam has such a hard out getting over a Mass Beast and Dark Illusions. They, it's, it's just crazy, guys. Super fast. So I played around a lot with this deck. Uh, it's I think this skill is the better skill, Mass Tribute. I think it's better than uh, Mask Exchange or whatever the other one is, because you don't really you get your guard is pretty consistently when you have the Doom Dogs. Like here, you can see we obviously don't start with one. We have a Doom Dog. We'll probably pull one though. So here, Neos Fusion sends a Bacon Saber. Has this Brave Neos out. We don't pull into a Guardius. So see, Doom Dog just makes it consistent enough to where you don't really need that exchange. It just makes the deck so much crazier using this skill than the other one. So here, he goes into our Doom Dog. That's just fine. Let him search. We get a search of our own. Keep in mind we have two Dark Illusions set. I didn't. I love Dark Illusion, man. It's an amazing card. So, this is all we need as long as you have a Dark Monster. Here, whenever you can get Guardius on the field without using your skill, you should do it. Because you only get to use the skill twice. So here, we use Unexpected Die. Set another Doom Dog. So you'll see how Doom Dog combos with Summoning Guardius. So here, Summoning our Guardius. Beautiful animation. It looks like they put a lot of effort into this one. Just not the background. Summon him. That activates our Doom Dog's effect. Grab a second. Now, next turn, we'll have another live Guardius, no matter what happens, even with the Sphere Curve. So we attack into his Neos. He does not use Neos Fusion for some reason. Has a Shazank, so that's why he didn't use Neos Fusion. Had he Shazanked and destroyed my Mass Beast, I would have taken his Neos, that's why he let his Neos die, so he Shazanks, but wait! Dark Illusion, stop Shazank, destroy Shazank, protect my monster, such a strong card. I love counter traps like that. Now look, I'm not even done, he brings out Quakimiru Ice, throws away his Maximus, about to destroy us again, Dark Illusion again, so crazy guys, so strong, destroys his Quakimiru. Plays his other Neos Fusion, he's just ready for us, puts it in defense. Now remember, he has two Neos to protect himself, because uh, he didn't use one. So here, I used the skill Mass Tribute, we sent Unexpected Dive back to the deck, summon him, set our Karibo, and now we have our second Guardius on the field. That's gonna get rid of both his Neos Fusion protections, and we're just set. He's waiting for his Lava Golem. We're just waiting to get by his defenses. He does not pull the Lava Golem and scoops. What a consistent and aggressive deck. Dark Illusion is like a must in this deck and this meta, guys. It's great. So here we're finding a guy from France. King of Games player. Everyone is playing Loomis and Umbra right now. It's like they should release characters two at a time because everyone is playing them. So here we're going second. I particularly like going first with this deck, but going second isn't bad either. So here we have a great hand. Anytime Dark Illusion's in your hand and you already have your Guardius, you're gonna pop off. So, uh, this Mask of the Remnants is the perfect uh, target for your skill because it sends it back into your deck and makes use of it. If you don't do that, it's like a minus one. So here, 
this guy's using a popular deck. I'm gonna probably uh, profile later. He's using Light and Dark Heroes, so you can use the skill Light and Dark to get your Sun Swordsman out. He does just that. We're gonna use our skill, Special Summon, set our Doom Dog, Special Summon our Guardius. Beautiful, beautiful animation. Here we go. Mass Beast Discardius. I don't really know how to say the name. I'm terrible with Yu-Gi-Oh names, so anytime. Doom Dog's effect. Keep our head nice and fat. That means next turn we have another live Guardius. That's why Doom Dog is so core too. Swing into his swordsman. That's gonna let him bring out his uh, level seven. We're not afraid. We're still bigger. He has heroes, so we know he has heroes. To summons a decider. Now deciders are tough for us, and that's why we use Skullmeisters because they're perfect for getting over deciders. Destroy his last silent swordsman. He's just sitting on a decider. We don't pull an out to it yet. Just going, going, waiting for our out. He uses light and dark again. Gets rid of a drill dark. Gets himself another silent swordsman. Ends his turn. We're gonna have to end our turn too. We get a little obsidian dragon. He has 2100 defense. So he's a pretty good first turn play too. And then he protects you kind of like Dark Illusion. Just not from Monster Effect, which is a huge part of Dark Illusion's appeal. So, he normal summons a Vision Hero. Uses his effect to search Poly. Uses Mass Change. Accidentally, or maybe on purpose, Mass Changes his Decider. Special summons an Anki in his main phase. Uses Polymerization. Gets rid of three. Summons a Trinity. What? I haven't seen a Trinity in so long. Goes for our Obsidian Dragon. I let him take him. Give him a second mass change. That's okay. It's our big boy we want to protect. He was going to chain the mass change if we use, just let him die and use our massive remnants. So here he has to use the mass change on the Trinity. Hits us for 1400. That's no big deal. Now we just have to worry about one back row to swing. Here, we get a second Dark Illusion, and we still have the resources to summon a second Disgrande. So we use our skill, set our monster, summon our second one. Now we can swing over both of these, we have tons of protection. Crazy, crazy stuff, guys. He just lets us swing, nothing he can really answer with. Nothing that's gonna be able to target us. We're sitting pretty, but wait. Oh, another Decider, no way. So now we gotta wait. And turn, and turn, and turn, and turn, and turn, and turn, until finally I get my Skullmeister, summon him, swing into the decider, he bounces. Cool, cool stuff, guys. Beating everything. So lots of Mokubas out there, lots of Neos with flip monsters, with bacon savers, with lava golems, lots of stuff like that. So let's see where we're finding him. I'm gonna try to go a little fast. He's actually using Heavy Starter. We get an Obsidian Dragon, a Dark Illusion. He is actually running Dark Lords. Uh, we're gonna have to fast forward. Dude, I remember this duel. This duel takes forever. So it takes forever to fight Dark Lords. I'm gonna try to not really go over what they're doing because he's just spamming the field. So here we use Unexpected Die to summon our boy because we don't want to waste our skill if we don't have to. We summon our boy attacking a 1. He's literally just stalling us, so as you can see, it's just mad special summons, mad special summons. So I just want to take this opportunity to talk about the deck a little more. Um, Dark Illusion is what threw it over the top. I was going crazy, I was using versions with like Hey Trunade and Anti-Magic Arrows. Oh, this is important. So, he, can't, he brings out Desire, tries to use Desire's effect on us. We say no, Dark Illusion. He has Tez to protect him from destruction, but we still swing over him. So crazy, crazy fast stuff. But that's what he does. He just keeps special summoning. Without Dark Illusion, this deck just doesn't go as far. And if you're not using the Mass Tribute skill, there's really no room for Dark Illusion. So I feel this is really the only viable good skill. It's probably the only skill of Mass Beast I'll visit. It's the only one that's worth it. It makes the deck so versatile, so strong crazy crazy it's like I love decks like this 
because they can't be recreated, or they can in speed duels, but they can't be recreated in the normal TCG because there's just no way to recreate that skill. They'd have to make a card, you'd have to start with it, all this stuff. But yeah, no problem with Dark Lords. You just get your boy out, he can't use Desire, can't use anything. Such a strong deck, guys. Get the skill, if you get the skill drop, definitely give it a try. Work in whatever Dark Monsters you like. You can replace the Skullmeisters and Karibos with anything. Replace the Obsidian Dragon. Other than that, leave the core. Three Beasts, three Dogs, two Die, three Illusions, two Normals. It's here where you can mix and match. Alright. But yeah. Alright, have fun guys. Thanks a lot.